tear everybody away from their glasses of wine and the cheese. Just to listen up just for one second. Um, so uh, as Derek Santos just reminded me, uh, we've all been waiting for this opening for a while. We all love ribbon cuttings, but we've been eyeballing um, this, uh, this new addition to our downtown for a while and been very excited about it. And uh, uh, so it's with great pleasure that uh, you know, we're here to announce the grand opening of, of Crush Wine. And it has, it has been brought to us uh, through the collaboration and partnership between um, Yogi, uh, Yogi, let me, I'm going to try to get your last name. Lapsatwa. Yeah. And uh, Christian Vasilev, who have uh, abundant experience in the wine industry that they're bringing right here to Greater New Bedford. Let me say this. I have to confess, you know, I've, I've, I've been a Bud Light drinker for a long time, but I think <laughs> I've, 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 I've developed a taste in wine, just leave it at that, and uh, I can say that there's nothing like this in the entire region. Uh, any, there's nothing like this uh, south of Boston. It is of a, a caliber that um, will draw people here far and wide uh, in terms of the selection of wine and the look of the place. They did a fantastic job converting this space into something very unique. I mean, look at all the exposed brick, the, um, the, the vault here, um, the, um, uh, the woodwork, I mean, it looks fantastic. And so it's a great addition to our downtown. It's another, it really adds to our portfolio of unique stores and restaurants and sites in downtown New Bedford and to the whole mosaic of our downtown area. This is, we are becoming more recognizably um, it's a place that is different from everywhere else in America. This is, if you want to experience something special, you want to shop somewhere special, come to downtown New Bedford. And there are a lot of people to thank in addition to, to Yogi and, and Christian. Um, the MBEDC headed by Matt Morrissey and Derek Santos. Um, Deb Trombley's here somewhere. I think she had noticed she's on next, her next clump of uh, cheese. <laughs> uh, Angela Johnston, uh, uh, Ramon Silva, the whole gang. Uh, Lauren Costello's here somewhere, the back right there. Great job, guys, and, and shepherding this business through to its start. Uh, city councilors who uh, uh, two of whom will really stand out as, as big supporters of small business. City Council President Steve Martin and Ward 6 Councilor Joe Lopes. Great job. Thank you for supporting this establishment. Um, and uh, so many others. Uh, Dini Romanowitz, uh, our building inspector, uh, as well as uh, the licensing board headed by uh, Steve Borgard. Uh, it takes a lot. It's a small business. It's small in terms of space but there are lots of moving parts to get something like this off the ground. And uh, it was through a lot of great teamwork uh, among all those uh, uh, components of city government to, uh, to get us here to this day. But most of all, I want to thank uh, Vasily and Yogi for investing in New Bedford and believing in us and recognizing that the city is going places and to have a, a place of this caliber really is a, a watershed event for our downtown. And this is at a at a, at a level that people would expect to see in like, San Francisco or Boston uh, or in uh, Midtown Manhattan, and, and it's something that we can, uh, we can be proud of. They, these guys get the business. They've been doing it in the big city for a long time. Christian, uh, in particular, is a, a, uh, a noted uh, and renowned uh, sommelier in Boston, um, and they recognize that for a place like this to succeed, it's all about service. It's about making customers feel good when they come in, uh, of accommodating them, and delivering cases of wine, doing all those things because, look, places like this don't succeed in the usual way that liquor stores do. There isn't abundant parking right out in front. It's not about that kind of convenience, but it's about the experience. These guys get it, and uh, they are going to be great partners here in the downtown area. So without any further ado, let me, uh, let me present uh, both of you with an official resolution of the city of New Bedford, and that is, um, uh, to crush wine and spirits in celebration of the grand opening of your shop at 801 Purchase Street in downtown uh, New Bedford uh, with appreciation for your investment uh, in the city of New Bedford. Uh, the entire citizenry extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued good fortune. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank
with that, let me uh, let me call Christian up for a few words. Christian. Well, first of all, I want to thank all of you for, uh, for being here uh, this time of the year before Christmas to take some some time on your own and to dedicate to us. That's great, and thank you again. Um, the landlord of the place just told me the code for that safe, so I will not work here anymore. <laughs> I'm all set. Um, something I want to say is that um, I've been involved with businesses in, <clears throat> in Canada on the West Coast and uh, Boston, and this is the third uh, project in uh, New Bedford that I'm involved in. And I have to say that doing business in New Bedford, it's easy. And in 2009, when uh, Bill Whelan did a speech uh, when we opened the, the Airport Grill, he said, doing business in New Bedford is easy. When you make a phone call, you talk to a person. And I listened to that, I believed it, but now I really know it. And you guys have been more than helpful to make this happen. The entire administration, the mayor's office, the whole city hall, everybody's been extremely, extremely helpful. And especially Angela Johnson. I'll give you another hug in a few minutes. I'm busy now. But uh, definitely, you've been more than helpful. So it takes a joint effort to make something like that. And as the mayor mentioned um, a couple of minutes ago, the idea here is not just to sell a bottle of wine. You can buy, buy a bottle of wine in many places. This is about making friends, about the service. This is a long term investment. And we want to be part of a growing and upcoming community where uh, I think the potential is enormous. That the potential is endless and the thing that will, uh, will succeed with your help. So at this point, I would say that um, I'm considering crash in a couple of minutes to be officially open. If Yogi wants to say something, it will be great. I'm going to ask all of you to come out for a second. We'll do the champagne show. We'll come back and uh, we'll toast and we'll enjoy some fine French cheeses. Any questions? <laughs> Well, I just want to thank everyone for coming in, and uh, especially the mayor and the city of New Bedford for giving us this opportunity. And hopefully, uh, we will see you more often here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, also, I need to I need to mention I need to mention a couple of people. This is the team, and also Neil, but Neil is hiding here. <laughs> Neil and the team that. Uh, help me make this place happen and also in the back uh, that young couple is hiding there uh, Kenny uh, who built the place and there's some other people that they're not uh, present in the moment so it was a joint effort and Bill Bennett thank you very much for letting us do what we want to do with the space because at the end of the day you own it so you're very flexible with us as well so it was a joint effort thank you again and let's go outside and uh, cut the champagne <laughs> You're supposed to shake it up first. <laughs> Very slightly. We need to find the seam. Oh, oh where? Find the seam. Oh, there's a target. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that woman to duck. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's a lot. I need one of those. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Yogi, Yogi, go ahead. Don't run with those scissors, okay? All right. Nice. All right. It's official. The bar's open. Nice job, guys. That was good. <laughs>